what's good everybody we are back with another nba live mobile video we've got a lot of stuff to cover today big news the raptors won game one i thought the warriors were going to straight up sweep them so that in general is big news if you're an nba fan i was watching the game and fell asleep at halftime and i'm really disappointed that i fell asleep at halftime because i would have loved to watch that but shout out to the Raptors for pulling it out. We got this free playoff moments token pick in the store. Are you kidding me? Chance it up to 25 tokens and I get one token. Wow. I feel cheated right now. Um, so it looks like player of the game chance packs are pretty expensive right now. A thousand NBA cash. I can afford one. Do I risk it? Comment down below if you think I should risk it or if I should keep saving my NBA cash. If I get enough people telling me that I should risk it, then I'll buy it, but I'll do it in a future video. So if we get, if we get a thousand likes, I'll risk it. I'm not like, that's not something, given that it's a 5% chance, it's not something I wanna do, but if we get a thousand likes, I'll risk it. But right now I'm not really feeling it. I had been planning on spending pretty much all my coins on these finals assist packs. I was going to try to sell some of my players, but then two things happen. Number one, we got the elite trade up pack and I really want to open this. I've got enough and most of these are just 97s and like 95 to 97 don't sell for a ton. So I kind of want to risk it and see if I can pull 104 because it could be profitable. On the other hand, Knowing my recent luck, I feel like there's a pretty good chance that I would pull 100 overall. So I just have a lot of conflicting emotions right now. And then also, we've got the 105 overall finals game one player of the game, Pascal Siakam. And he only cost 15 NBA finals players. Oh, did I miss a... Uh... Dang it, I did miss the refresh. Okay, so I actually missed a couple live events. Whoops! um yeah i'm kind of looking at this and wondering what's going to be most worth it to spend your tokens on because basically with this you could very well spend your tokens just to get elite players out of it so five elite player or five tokens gives you an elite player essentially 15 times five is what you would need to get siakam or any of the other players of the game so that would be 50 75 tokens is all that you're gonna need to get one 105 overall player which seems like a lot better deal than any of these guys so right here you've got if we're just gonna count them up real quick we got four plus eight is 12 plus 15 is 27 plus 30 is 57 plus another 30 is 87 and if you're only going for the base hundred it seems like it might be more worth it to spend all of your tokens on these 105 overall players unless you really specifically want one of these players. Now, that being said, that doesn't take into account whether you would want an ability. So if you want an ability, obviously it's going to be more worth it for you to go for one of these. But for the most part, I think a lot of people are just gonna be wanting to go for 105 overalls in general. Now, something that you also have to take into account is that you do get elite players from each of these. Um, so you could potentially do one of these, you get the four elite players from each additional upgrade that you do. You can throw those into a set and then it lowers the cost of getting one of these player of the game 105 overall so it's a pretty interesting thing i really like what ea did because they give you in these finals they give you a lot of different options for what you could do um i don't need a power forward so obviously i'm not going to go for siakam so i'm probably going to keep saving up for this one we got the 94 d way right there i'm taking uh what's his name's advice from reddit and i have not spent anything from it so far but it looks like, at least just from a pure number of tokens standpoint, it looks like it could be, if I did my math right, more worth it to go for the 75 overalls. Now, if you convert those four players back into tokens, what is that, 60? Did I do the math right on that? 
I don't think that I did. Yeah, I definitely didn't do the math right on that. If you need five tokens times 15, yeah, that's only, no, I did it right. That's 75 tokens. Yeah, so uh, if you convert those back into tokens, they would be worth, those four players would be worth 20 tokens. So it's essentially, that comes out to almost the exact same. So the cost of all these, I believe I said is 87, but if you go minus 20, that brings you out to 67. So it really depends on what you're gonna be able to do at the very end. So I think what I would recommend doing is if there are certain positions, I would imagine there's probably going to be one game where Steph Curry is the player of the game. If that's the case, I'm probably gonna be going for the Steph Curry player of the game because I did not grind for the Steph Curry player of the month. And because of that, I don't have a good point guard right now. So most other people probably won't go for the Steph Curry player of the game unless his stats are absolutely insane. Like they, if they give him like a 110 three ball, I would imagine just about everybody's gonna go for it. But like I suggested before, you guys should definitely be saving up your tokens right now because you never know what you're gonna need. I don't imagine there's a ton of people that need a power forward right now. I'm trying to think of who my power forward. Well, I have Pau Gasol, so if you don't have that Pau Gasol card, there might be a chance that you need a power forward. But at the same time, it's not like you're losing a huge opportunity because we do already have one in the sets in Tim Duncan. So a point guard is the only one that you would potentially need that won't be an option from the sets. My recommendation right now would be that you continue saving your tokens right now you're like you're not losing out on anything by not going for siakam he's a decent card but he's not a phenomenal card uh, i would say especially compared to the other ones so you can see he's got quite a few stats that are below 100 he's got one two three four five six stats that are below 100 as compared to that tim duncan card which whenever it gets to i won't even go to the maxed out version but once it gets to 105 overall that tim duncan only has one two three four stats below 100 overall and his rebounding is absolutely insane inside paint insane scoring with contact insane this is definitely the better 105 overall card and with that being said you do get those players as you progress on through um that also being said, I'm not sure that I did my math right. Let me do that one more time. 65, 65 just for those two. Um, plus another 15, that already puts you at 80. 88, yeah, I did my math wrong. My apologies on that one. Um, 88 plus, okay, so actually 92 tokens is what it's gonna cost you. I don't know if I, yeah, I just, I probably totally missed the extra 30 at the end um but yeah actually 92 is what it's going to cost you so i would say for right now that does even it out a little bit that still gives the set players a slight advantage so if you subtract the 20 tokens worth of players that you're going to get from it that brings it back down to 72 and it's 75 tokens to get one of these so it all depends on what you want uh, which players you feel like are most worth it let me know down in the comments what you guys are going to be doing with your tokens because this is like, I really like having to make this decision because it makes the game a lot more interesting and not everybody has to just go down the same path and pick the same players. I really like the idea. So let me know you guys thoughts. We'll have another upload later on today, but just wanted to give you guys a little walkthrough on these so you can have a better idea of what your best options are going to be for these players. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did drop a like and subscribe to the squad if you're new and I'll see you guys next time.